protect them. Thank you. Well, that's we may have to review this, you, but I have no control over it. Thank you. The, the issue we want to raise is in relation to page 48 of the programme for government. There is a section called protecting local services, and it specifically deals with post offices. Now, uh, earlier this week, the minister went to Ballymahan and announced a whole lot of things for to help rural Ireland. Yesterday evening, I discovered that the post office in my local area, in Ahavas and County Leitrim, is going to be closed because the pub and b businesses there has been sold, and on post is saying that they may not they may not renew the contract for to have a post office in that area. Now, if the government is making such efforts for to invest in rural Ireland, one of the first things they should be doing is ensuring that the services that exist in rural Ireland are not withdrawn. That is a basic principle of it. This post office has been in the community for over 150 years, and to think that at the drop of a hat it can just go, and we have a similar situation in Ballygally. Yesterday, I, uh, yesterday, I brought up the, yesterday I brought up the issue no, of no, veterinary, sir. the regional veterinary service has been withdrawn Thank and centralised to Dublin. Deputy we have Thank a serious you. problem in rural Ireland, and the government is Minister talking about investing Cash. money in it at the same time they're withdrawing these services. Minister it is outrageous. Minister I want the Minister to indicate, and don't tell me Kenny. that on post is a separate entity. It is in the programme for government. Deputy it is the responsibility of the speech. government to ensure that services are maintained in rural Ireland. Deputy Minister. I, I think, well, first of all, I, I think the Deputy recognises that for the first time in my memory, and I'm in this House a long, long time, we have a coherent strategy for rural areas, and it covers employment, it covers uh, service levels, it co covers tourism, it covers homes, it covers primary care. So the first time there is a genuine strategy seeking to support uh, the, the, the delivery of local services. I think yesterday, <coughs> yesterday you raised an issue in respect of uh, veterinary services, which the Minister uh, provided a very categorical assurance that the approach that he was taking was not uh, assuming that this was going to be centralised to, to, to Dublin. Uh, and the, the situation in relation to OnPost is, as you recognise in your own question, OnPost has responsibility in respect of its own, uh, the operation of its, its services. But the, the, the proposal from government, uh, and as you know, Minister, uh, you. considerable work has been done uh, by government uh, under Bobby Kerr to develop uh, initiatives that would see a long-term and strong uh, future for postal services. And it is by implementing a strategy like that that we deliver uh, a future for Thank local you, services. Thank you, and I think that you. you have to take we a strategic view of these issues. We now move to